20 uh, February here. Got this male coon, had a pocket set here, number 11 on it. Um, this is just set for muskrat mink. I think I had a muskrat shoved up in the hole. Some of Lennon's lure on it. So there's one there. And then we've got a T-bone set, number three. We'll set, try to get these calf killing coyotes. And it's down underneath that tree there. So we've got a double and coon this morning. All right, see you guys down the line. Well, things got pretty busy out on the line out there. Uh, got myself another bobtail coon. I showed you guys one out there. I don't remember if it was that one or not, but I uh, had two in number 11s, one in the uh, number three Montana, and then one was in a one and a half Victor coral spring. Then uh, we got some rats. So I think the most will take in one day this year. That's actually the second beaver. The first one weighed in at 49 pounds. I haven't weighed this one yet. We skinned the other one in the field, so we're going to have to back her out. Um, yep. And, uh, there's an otter my dad picked up. Working on skinning it. Alright. See you guys down the line. Okay. Today the 24th. I think 24th, February. You see that rat there? That's an inlet pipe or outlet pipe. Um, that con bear sitting to the side. I think I showed you guys that set earlier. It had that beaver in it, and then that beaver there was in a number 11. Once again, just a toe catch. I held it. Water come up, drowned it. It was drowned. Where this thing runs back into the river. Then uh, blind sets, pocket sets, we've got four rats. I got one on that tea stake. He was just picked him up on the edge of this right here. Uh, got him drowning right now and one other from down the line. There's my trap partner. All right, guys, see you down the line. Well, today's the 25th. Uh, what have we caught so far, buddy? Six muskrats. How many? Six. I think we got five. I don't know, we'll do, do we have six? Yeah. Well, uh, this guy says six. He can probably count better than me. So, And uh, this is one of them calf killers. This is where we had problems. Calf got killed right there. One calf. So I picked a coyote up over there. Now I got this one. And the ranch hand shot one. So you now we picked two over about a mile away from this. So I think we got them thinned out now. All right, guys. We will see you down the line. There's a... I don't know if you can tell, I got that thing cabled off right there. And I would have thought it was just about far enough away, but obviously if you were fur trapping, you probably still want to be further away yet. All right, see you guys down the line. So it's been colder the last couple days. There's my original pocket set. Of course, the water's a little too deep. So I just scraped something out with my hand there and the rats have dug it even deeper here. Um, the, uh, traps back there I had this guy here this is number uh, number 10 no number 11 just pulled out of number 11 on a crossover this is the 11th wrap for the day we'll just go right up here check one last set it's been colder uh, didn't get any beaver oh yep there you go um, that'll be number 12 let's get him dispatched all right guys see you down the line well here's an interesting sign guys uh, I would have swore I had this trap pulled. I had pulled every other trap around here. Um, oh, there's what happened. I fired my traps off. They're not all pulled, but they're fired off. There's where I fired the trap off. This must have been a clean set I put in. The snow buried it. Now, I mean, this thing ain't been relured in two months. Give you an idea of the kind of noses. And I'm sure that coyote's past prime, but man, it looks good, so I'm gonna take it home and skin it. Current coyote prices. Alright guys. We're out checking some rat traps today. We want the rats out of this ditch here. And that's what we got so far. So, see you guys down the line. Well, still the 26 here. This is a, was an aspen set. This gets so deep out there, it's having problems. You can see the top of it where they shoot it up. The snow had them all buried. I just stuck it in at the edge and put the trap on this side and got a rat there. I hope it ain't chewed up by the other rats. The beauty of these sets is they chew on them, get caught, 
fall off and drown, the other rats can't get to them. The way I got it set up here, that's not the case. We, <coughs> we froze last night, so hopefully that was the demise of this rat. We'll see.